Dr. Ingolf Turk is a pioneer, creator of the robotic assisted surgery program at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center. We are the number one center in Massachusetts of performing robotic assisted uh, laparoscopic surgeries. Two years ago, surgeons here embraced this revolutionary procedure. And today, 90% of Dr. Turk's prostate cancer patients choose robotic surgery. The robotic device actually is capable of mimicking completely the movement of a human wrist. So he can go in any angle the human hand can go, the device can go. That basically, again, transfers open surgery into a laparoscopic environment. Dr. Turk is finding the same success using the robot for bladder and kidney surgeries as well. There's no doubt in my mind that that is the best way to go. Small incisions, but full capability of movements inside of the body. The new technology has changed the face of women's health, too. Dr. Michael Zinneman is chairman of OBGYN at St. Elizabeth's. We can apply robotic surgery to almost any kind of condition that a woman has that requires open surgery. Hysterectomy, myomectomy, fibroids. Instead of having a big scar, we take them out. Home in the morning is what we say. It was the scariest thing just to hear you have cancer. Devastated by her diagnosis, Jennifer Bailey chose robotic surgery at St. Elizabeth's to remove her tumor because of the promise of less pain and quicker recovery. All the things that patients really worry about, pain, recovery, transfusions, scarring, incisions, things like that, we've taken away from them. This is where I want to be a patient. This is where I would send my family. Jennifer and her husband Bob were thrilled with the outcome. So the surgery was relatively non-invasive. I was up and walking around the next day. I remember coming out with my husband and I said, did he get the cancer? And he said, yeah. Of course, the robot does not perform the operation. That's still in the hands of the surgeon, who manipulates the robot from a console on the other side of the OR. The technology is amazing. Robotic technology has converted many a surgeon from their old ways. If you ask me two years ago, when my exposure was limited, I had my questions. But this is a tool that can help me do better procedures. With such successes, doctors like Heracles Garoyanis are exploring new worlds. Do you have a reticulating problem? A cardiothoracic surgeon, Dr. G, as he's called, is today taking a cancerous tumor from a woman's chest. But he has also performed vascular procedures and even minimally invasive bypass surgery where the chest doesn't have to be opened. The reward is having a patient their eyes lighting up and they say, oh, well, that is great. I have seen that again and again within my patients and their families. And the fact that I can give them that is, is, a, great, is, a, is a great reward. Cancer-free, it's a great feeling. <laughs>